Hi, good morning. Uh, I'm from School Public Health. Um, I just want to hear to talk about one point that uh, there's a uh, uh, many system they are using the point entry and point use devices in the uh, drinking water distribution system and in the household, and they may have some unintended consequences, and they may have linked to the also the flint issue as well. So uh, in the United States and also elsewhere, we use so-called multiple barrier approach to provide clean and safe drinking water to the public. So we protect the source, um, protect the source, and then we provide sufficient treatment, uh, and then we also protect the distribution system. We set up the water quality standard, and then we do a frequent uh, water quality monitoring to ensure that the water we provide is safe to drink and uh, uh, clean or safe to drink. Uh, but there's some uh, recent print issue indicate that if there's a failure in the certain approaches, we don't really, we can, uh, sometimes we fail to provide the safe and clean water to the public. Um, and so this is also uh, a kind of practice in our, our part of the world. Um, for example, here, this is uh, uh, one of the projects we've just uh, uh, been doing in Doha uh, in Qatar. So there's no fresh water. They use, they use desalination process to provide uh, the water to the public. So this is the big, huge uh, uh, water treatment plant, desalination plant, use thermal process. Um, but they, when they distribute the water to this, uh, uh, through the uh, uh, distribution system and then service line to each household, the common practice they, they are doing there is uh, they have these uh, uh, point of entry filters and then they have the storage tank and then they also have the point of use filters. Uh, so this is a quite common practice. One of the reasons they are doing this is when the water comes from the desalination plant is uh, uh, quite corrosive and the, uh, some stuff come out from the pipes and then you have the brown water. So people just use this uh, filters to make sure that, or give them com uh, comfort that we can filter these uh, uh, particulars or other compounds from this water. So this is a quite a common practice they have. And I'll show you a few pictures. This is, for example, the, uh, each household, each building um, is uh, privately owned by this uh, household. And then they have this uh, on the, uh, for example, on the sink, they have this uh, point of use devices. Um, and this is open, uh, it's outside of the, most of the buildings. You can imagine in the Doha, the temperature is sometimes 30 degrees. In the summer, could be 50 degrees. So what we did there is we go there to look at the water quality, what the impact of these point of use devices or point of entry devices impact on the water. Um, I will not show you all the data in, the, in terms of the, the chemistry data, but I'll just show you the microbiology data. So what you can see here, this is the city water. This is the city water they have. Uh, we don't really detect much, many HPC from the city water. Um, but if you look at this, uh, after the point of uh, entry devices uh, in the tanks or in the uh, uh, post of the point of entry devices, you can see um, they have thousands HPC per uh, minute of the water. And then this is the uh, post of the point of use devices. So which indicate here, just here, you can, two major uh, messages you can find here is after the point of use and point of entry devices, this in fact they provide a, 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 a incubator to enrich the microbial regrowth in the drinking water system, so at the end. Um, the other thing is uh, we also took the samples from different locations of the uh, Doha, and you can see there's big variation here. This is. Uh, a special uh, variation in terms of the microbial quality of the water. So what you can see from that, uh, there's so uh, variation in the different locations, but also um, we also have the temporal uh, uh, um, variations. If you collect the water sample just from one location, and then you will see also big variation over the year. So when we, that, that's one of the indication we have is when we look at the water quality, we cannot just take a snapshot of the, uh, the, the, the the uh, samples, and there we say the water is good or bad. Okay. Uh, the other indication, come back to also to the flint, uh, now we promote the use of the point uh, use devices to filter the, the zinc, uh, the, the lead from the water, um, but it's not really, uh, I'm not sure how well managed it uh, be managed, so there could be also different variations, so there could have some implications in terms of uh, impact the water quality we have at the end.
So, uh, but because it's also privately owned and it's in each house, uh, in terms of maintenance, it varies. So that may also have some unintended impact of the water quality we have. So that's all I have. Thank you.